Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Podcast Series. This is Lakshad Pan from my job developer community. We are back here again with another episode of the Tech Podcast Series. And for today's episode, we have our industry leader, Atish Atish Shailar, sir, with whom we will be con- converging about the fintech industry and what's going in the in this all the fintech scenario. Fintech is mostly around financial tech. We'll talk about, and he is the chief operating officer at IPO Pay, and we'll learn from his experiences how has he has been building his organization and what are the significant changes or major shifts that that this industry is going through. So, to quick start the podcast, I'll just quickly ask uh, Atisha if you could introduce yourself first. Thanks, Arjun. Uh, so, uh, I'm a CEO for a company called IPO Pay. IPO uh, means now in Tamil, so that's where uh, you know. the name comes from so we are a chennai based chennai headquartered company having uh, our branches in uh, mumbai bangalore and uh, dubai that's where uh, we stand today as a geography for our offices right having said this uh, you know our uh, complete uh, journey starts 4 uh, years back from now we uh, uh, we started a company called ipope uh, in 2020 and uh, it it is more it was more over a company from a uh, you know uh, acquiring online acquiring merchants and offline acquiring merchants uh, in 2020 uh, exactly one year back in 2022 we started a company called techfini techfini com- uh, comes with a complete uh, you know setup of having a tech infrastructure uh, which is only related to fintech today okay so in a tech okay. uh, In a, in a company called Finmidas, which is branded as Techfini, we have a requiring switch, which is card requiring switch. Uh, which is uh, we have a, a card issuing switch, uh, where you can issue credit card and debit card. Along with that, we have uh, you know card management, a complete you know management service of the cards. Uh, we have a UPI switch, which is certified by NPCI. Uh, we have expense management tool. We have uh, HSM. We have uh, sports management utility programs. And so on and so forth. So, uh, Techfini uh, completely comes as a support to a bank or a fintech who wants to start acquiring uh, or uh, uh, card uh, acquiring services, uh, UPI card acquiring services, UPI services in India as well as globally. Wow! So, we will definitely j- jump off to the UPI part as well, but. because uh just to set up a context right i just wanted to know because when i was doing my homework i saw you are targeting the tier 2 and tier 3 towns right that's what that's what i saw in the in the in the about section right so what how does it how do you differentiate between these payment aggregators in the market especially when you target all these tier 3 t- uh, tier 2 uh, towns right and what kind of tech does you offer from a business perspective to accept all these payments both offline and online sir so uh, let's keep this two different discussion one is uh, you know we being the front end for the uh, for the merchants and one being the back end uh, for banks and merchants right okay. so uh, in the front end uh, you know uh, we classify ourselves as ipo pay there uh, we today are present in uh, 1900 pin codes out of 2100 only in tamil nadu our presence today primarily is in tamil nadu uh, okay. from, uh, from that geography itself we have about 5 lakh merchants which are live and we are catering them correct uh, uh, the aim was to concentrate on one market grow it and then move to another market uh, that's our ideology we don't want to go you know uh, all over the place and uh, you know start uh, jumping uh, you know everywhere right, right so we right. Had, uh, three years our concentration was only on tamil nadu so oh, six months back we have moved to andhra pradesh telangana karnataka right uh, but uh, don't have a strong hold as of now there okay uh, in tamil nadu uh, we have uh, we have reached the smallest of the uh, you know uh, villages towns where there are about you know 20 25 houses uh, one shop and but we are present there i mean i don't see any big player present there but we are present there uh, we we truly believe that uh, you know if you want to scale up you need to start uh, from the small places where the acceptance is the lowest correct right. we are very the merchants uh, not only from acceptance perspective but also how how will a person who has a qr uh, in his hand how can he do a payment using a scan correct so th- that kind of education we give to our merchant and the merchant in turn give it to uh, their set of customers right 
we believe that uh, actually contributes to the uh, you know uh, payment evolution that is happening uh, as of now in india uh, there are words that are there but i don't want to get into this uh, terminology right now but let's understand very basic thing that you need to educate the end point to come and do the online transaction that is what we are doing right uh, so uh, today we do about uh, today we have about uh, five lakh merchant and we process about 250 300 crores month on month only on online uh, this is a front end this is as an aggregator correct like uh, you know any other aggregator that does in the market like a phone pay or a google pay or a market pay, right right uh, we have gone one step ahead and we said that why don't we build our own technology to support our own transactions right so we have our own upi switch which is certified by uh, you know npc mm-hmm. yes. and the back end we use our switch to process our transactions so sir first of all i really loved your clarity on uh, when you said right we are we just target the one place at you know at one time and just then we try to scale it and that, that's the best thing i have ever learned from you know again that that is that learning comes from always the leaders like yourself but that's the best thing that all the aspiring entrepreneurs can do right and so when you work on these small businesses home entrepreneurs and freelancers and all these people right what challenges have you seen in in your payment collection and how does have you solved as a organization to, you know address all these challenges the very important aspect of the story is the patience right uh, okay young entrepreneurs uh, you know new startups want to scale up in 3 years and check out right our thought process is <laughs> that our thought process is very clear that we are here to cater to our market we are catered to we are here to cater to the country right uh, it's been 3 years uh, we could have jumped to other states we could have jumped to other geographies but we didn't do that we are concentrated there uh, we are trying to make up uh, you know portfolio more lucrative more exposed to other opportunities that are there but we want to stick saying that we will make a uh, we'll we'll understand the tamil nadu market and probably then move outside and then uh, you know try some different strands up there so uh, you know my request to every entrepreneur which is there today or everyone who wants to start let's concentrate on one particular place grow there and then probably if you see there is a potential outside we'll, we we can move out wow wow that's that's again to all the listeners just this is this is the best piece of advice you got in the middle of this podcast right try sticking to your user what could maybe if from industry per se if we'll see if something is working out for one region it, it shouldn't be. you can take the learning from the one region learnings to another region but it's it's not like that will also work out in different regions as well right this the three years now that you are working it's not a small time right people right. want to exit at this point in time and we are <laughs> only yeah and i you know even you when you said about exit also even now people now even they do not think about exit they are just like how, how we just incorporate ai into it and then we'll exit <laughs> so this these has been the thoughts of the industry right now so from okay moving at our next question so how has how do you see the the landscape of payment solutions evolved in india after the revolution of upi and the digital payments okay so i i i come from uh... Uh, you know where actually the payment business started in india right uh, i was uh, you know i was working in hdfc bank when i started my career way back in 2007 the, the, there's where the payment gateway industry started right, uh, right. we were doing about you know 50 crores 60 crores a month uh, scaled up to 35 45000 odd crores now right uh, that's the scale what i've seen uh, in the market right uh, uh, you know at that point in time uh, getting a card transaction uh, successful was was a big achievement right Uh, 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 you know, uh, you you used to do about uh, you know thousand transactions a day, fifteen thousand transactions a month, that kind of a scenario, right? We have scaled up big time, right? Now we are, we are doing lakhs of transactions per day. Uh, having said this, uh, you know uh, everything will evolve. Uh, UPI will also evolve, but I I see that uh, the evolution of payments, uh, which happened uh, from two thousand seven to two thousand ten. right uh, it was very slow right but 2010 is of post 2010 it scaled up big time right uh, okay. so suppose that you see uh, 14 15 you see a, a upi coming in you see multiple transactions happening on upi and now it's gone to a different peak right 3 million transactions are on it is a different peak right uh, i am only uh, you know uh, waiting for uh, cbdc to come in right once the ah. digital currency is there right you will see a different trans- traction of uh, tr- uh, you know transactions happening online right so okay. uh, i i shall term it as an online transaction because it's, it's going to be a digital currency right okay uh, 
and it's more to be more convenient for people so i'm i'm eagerly waiting as a payment industry expert i'm eagerly waiting for the digital currency to come in and see your traction out there i'll i'll jump to do you have mentioned mentioned about this very important term i'll jump off to that part as well but right now i just wanted to focus on the upi part you have mentioned because right now upi is uh, somehow doing a business of around maybe a transaction of around maybe 117 billion they did in in last 2023 year right so what what do you see what is the, this is a very big market to tap in right if for any fintech industry so do you see any you know what are the scope of innovation in any fintech industry is it, it is is it very limited or is there in scope, any scope of innovation because when we talk about innovation there comes the you know in fintech industry it is more about security compliance you have to go with the government rules rbi guidelines and multiple things are there right so how do you see this what are the scope of innovation that we can see in the fintech industry so uh, see upi itself is uh, getting the market share i i hear from aggregators that their portfolio size of uh, you know once where, where the card uh, visa vi a upi was about 70 30 is now gone exactly the reverse right upi has come to 70% where cards has gone to 30 basically right. other payment options have gone to 30% right, right. Uh, evolution itself has happened right uh, the best of the processing of a transaction with upi uh, with a less of a tat we are already enjoying that right uh, scan uh, scan on pay or a upi id and a pay or uh, you know any other mode of upi payments it's all coming right Uh, right. Therefore, I'm thinking uh, what UPI had to do is already done. Uh, concentrating on compliances, uh, I mean, you know what is happening right now, right? There are few uh, companies or few uh, aggregators which are under the, uh, you know, uh, within yeah. the UPI, yeah, right? I'm saying that uh, all that has to be taken care of. The rest all, uh, you know, uh, from a tech perspective, uh, this is the best piece that we have today, and okay. I feel that uh, the next best piece will be the digital currency. now again now let's let's talk about the digital currency for our you know for our audience like can you just explain what digital currency is all about and what tech is working behind it and how will the transaction happen in the digital currency you'll have to cut it here but uh, no one is allowed to speak on cbdc right now okay okay i'm really sorry sir okay <laughs> perfect so we'll just quickly move to the next question so it is more about um, the fintech industry right so i'll just quickly okay i'm really sorry sir is it is it we cannot talk about cbdc at present so definition and all is fine but uh, how it is going to work what is going to work see it's a, it's a thought process that lots of building up on right so okay for example uh, you know uh, in short uh, if i speak about it you'll your you in turn are going to talk about killing upi very soon okay 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 let's let's skip that part again for sure so yeah, let's so sir talking about the the new tech that has been introduced in the market talking about the ai and you know machine learning or maybe the generative ai for front right what significance do you see of these emerging technologies in the fintech industry are there any because it's it's very tough to identify when we when we see from a user's perspective but from a from a leader perspective from a organization owner perspective how do you see this uh, i have a i have a mixed reaction to it right uh, whenever ai comes in right you have seen in the global market also you will see lots of manpower uh, getting out of the jobs right yeah dilution yeah as a as a leader i think uh, implementation of ai is very important but then you need to have a, a you know a, a balanced uh, you know thought process to get ai in your systems while having uh, you know people employed uh, to do all this okay uh, ai will play a very important role uh, right from operations to technology uh, uh, going from uh, you know a uh, code to a zero code kind of a uh, thought process for uh, tech uh, going from no manpower in operations uh, recons getting done uh, by the ai tools all that will definitely come i mean uh, i don't see uh, a reason that it shouldn't uh, fly off but uh, it's a very responsible uh, uh, thought process to come in and uh, implementation of this has to be you know uh, thought upon uh, how a mankind would uh, save their jobs wow and if we again there is one more tech that has been in the buzz right the blockchain how is blockchain technology you know maybe impacting the fintech landscape and is there any potential does it hold maybe in the in terms of future of finance so blockchain uh, i mean it's it's a ai tool right at the end of the day uh, whatever uh, you know uh, blockchain is the first step towards ai uh, implementation right so uh, okay. i feel that the blockchain uh, definitely in a financial sector will have a different impact than what is there today 
I just wanted you to, you know, some uh, shed some light on this new term that I saw that is open banking. So in what, you know, can you just elaborate the concept of open banking and its implications of the, the maybe the book from both the consumers and the financial institution perspectives? So uh, open banking uh, you know, uh, is a term that is uh, uh, basically a technology that is used uh, with a with a license model with a bank. And, uh, you know, you do whatever a bank, uh, you replicate what a bank will do for you, right? Uh, from a technology perspective, I don't see a challenge out there. I look at it from a compliance perspective. How compliant okay. are you while you're running the uh, open banking uh, or, uh, you know, uh, AI banking kind of a uh, tool, right? Uh, while you can support it uh, to the banks, but, you know, making yourself stand parallel to a bank is what will compliance will hound you today or tomorrow. Wow. And what is your vision for the future of the IPOPay and how do you see the company evolving to meet the maybe the for the next dynamic needs of the Indian market? Maybe expanding to multiple regions can be one. Uh, but what are the other thoughts you have in your mind, sir? So, uh, you know, we want to build our own ecosystem. Uh, we want to build a payment ecosystem where, uh, you know, we should be able to control uh, or we should be able to uh, you know, take a complete stand on how does a transaction will flow from a technology perspective. That's the first step, right? So uh, your roots are really strong while, uh, you know, you are, uh, uh, you are waiting in the fintech industry and, uh, you know, you want to go further. Right? While we move further from a tech perspective, we want to also ensure that the merchants that are getting acquired, right? Uh, like a PAPG, uh, you know, authorized uh, company, we want to get into that space also where we acquire the customers, we run the customers on our platform, not getting dependent on anyone else and, uh, you know, uh, control the entire journey of the transaction, which helps not only for a faster processing, but also, uh, you know, uh, helps the customer to, uh, you know, uh, give a instant gratification. Wow. And for all those aspiring engineers who are listening to this podcast, where, where, where we are at, right? From, from yeah. hiring perspective. Please join us. Yeah, yeah. From hiring perspective, from research and perspective, where do you see? Where is where is where we are right now? I'm sorry, I I think I missed the question. Yeah, I was saying from for all the aspiring engineers who are listening to this podcast, where we are right from a hiring perspective, from research and perspective in the fintech ecosystem, and individually about the IPO pay, right? I think that word recession doesn't hit me at all, right? What's happening inside the fintech yeah. ecosystem? It will never hit the Indian economy also. We are very strong, for, uh, you know, from that perspective, right? I mean, uh, I it, it, it itself is important to speak about, but uh, I don't think that recession uh, in India will ever happen. I mean, we are, we are uh, underdeveloped, we are a developing country and, uh, you know, uh, we are up the scale now. And I think uh, next four or five years, we are only going to develop from it. And sir, I, I saw your couple of posts, you writing about all the fintech technologies you are, you are just trying to educate the community. What has been your key interest when you, when you, when it comes to educating people and writing all these articles, right? The core idea about uh, these articles is only to educate people, tell them how safe we are, tell them how good our economy is and tell them, uh, you know, how can you contribute uh, by adding up uh, to the fintech industry. Wow. Wow. And to, uh, you know, all these young engineers who aspire to be at fintech industry, what should be the, what should, where should they focus on from technology perspective? What is it the AI? Is it the, what should be the next thing that they should learn? Anyone who is qualified for AI should immediately get into AI because uh, early starter will give, get the early advantage, right? But, uh, you know, any engineer uh, who wants to, uh, you know, uh, is aspiring to work in a Google or, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> should definitely look at the Indian startup market. They would do wonders then doing wonders there. Yeah. And how about the fintech industry? What do you say? Like what's, what's the next skill one should learn if one wants to get into fintech industry? So? I mean, see, it's about the interest, right? I mean, there's no right. one or two, but it's about your interest. Uh, everything in a fintech, uh, you know, is, is, is good to start with, right? So I would not uh, recommend one that you should go in one direction. Whatever is interest, you should learn and then come in and join the fintech. That's that's where uh, you know uh, the country's growth will lie. 
I really loved your thoughts and really loved your honesty and clarity on on the on the points that you made, sir. And it was a really nice recording this podcast with you. And as a closing remarks, if any piece of advice that you want to share with all our listeners, sir, it would be really great. Trust the country we are growing. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, all the. all the listeners i hope you got some insights from atisha from this podcast we are coming up with lots of initiatives and looking forward to collab collaborate more in future thank you thank you sir for joining thank us you. for the podcast it was my pleasure